So dito naman sa project 6. So uh, dito sa project 6 ng exam 2, may dalawang document na naka-open, no? So ito yung isa. Ayun. Tapos ito yung isa pa. Ayun. Okay, so pero dito tayo sa isa na to, sa The Art of ano ba 'tong basa dito, Seriescaping. <laughs> so project at uh, task 1. In the space above the heading, the seven principles of seriescaping. Ah, uh, hindi ko alam kung paano bigkasin yung or i-pronounce yan. So, bahala na kayo. So, sa taas daw niya, above the heading, insert a screen clipping of the photo displayed on the seriescape example that docs document. So, ito siya, no? Yung picture daw natin na to, is, i-gagamitin natin yung screen clipping para makuha natin yung picture and then saka natin ilalagay dito. So, dito sa document nato sa taas, click tayo sa taas ng heading. Click natin yung insert tab. And then, um, dito kay illustrations group ay screenshot and then screen clipping so magmi-minimize yung um, unang document and then saka natin screen clipping yung picture so may insert siya dyan and then mark completed task number 2 convert the footnote associated with the heading the 7 principles of seriescaping to an end note. So, convert natin ang isang footnote to an end note. So, asan po ba yung footnote natin? Okay, the seven principles. Ito, the seven principles of seriescaping. So, may nakalagay na na footnote. So, i-convert natin ito into an end note. So, i-highlight natin yung footnote na yun. And then, kay uh, references tab, kay footnotes group I-open natin yung footnote dialog box. Okay? And then dito, i-convert daw natin into an end note. And then i-convert natin. Convert. Convert all footnotes to end notes. Okay natin. Ayan. And then, i-close na natin. Ayan. Then mark completed. Task 3. Below the heading, the seven principles of seriescaping. Beginning. So, starting daw with principle 1 plan and design hanggang doon kay principle number 7 ayan nagtatapos daw yung word uh, yung phrase kay use in composting piles so ayan i-highlight natin yan mula kay principle 1 hanggang 7 and then gawin daw natin siyang dalawang columns. So, uh, layout tab, and then page setup group, columns drop down, then 2. Ayan. And then mark completed. Task 4. Insert a column break immediately below, uh, immediately following the last sentence of principle 7. So, dito daw, asa ba si principle? Ito, si principle 7. So, after daw, so, i-click natin itong um, itong sa may tabi ng period ng tuldok. And then, maglagay daw tayo ng column break. So, kay layout tab, kay breaks, breaks uh, drop down, then column, column break. And then, mark completed. So, nakapaglagay na tayo ng column break. Mark completed. Task 5. Add the alternative text title, office hours, to the table on the last page. Okay, so, ito yung ating table. Ayan. And then, dito kay, um, select natin yung table natin pwede i-click mo tong select all na feature sa upper left ng table and then kay layout tab contextual tab kay table group select natin yung properties and then dito kay alt text tab and alt text yung title gawin daw natin office hours office hours and then okay then mark completed.